<laughs> and then remember, I got invited yeah. to do the interview with her. They wanted to pay me 15K for Kamala Harris a couple months ago. So remember, some people were saying, well, did he make that up? I didn't make it up. They texted me and said we wanted to pay. And they, and they was after me for a while. And I said, listen, uh, it got to be live. They wanted an interview, but I wanted it live. You're not mm-hmm. going to pre-record it and splice it because I know how y'all crackers move. So I said, live interview, straight to the people. I don't want your money. I ain't for sale. I think they wanted to test to see if I was a money-hungry Negro. And I said, nah, let's do it. And they never called me back because they wasn't going to let her answer my questions live because she wouldn't have any answers. And I'm going to tell you this. This is what black people are not paying attention to. If Kamala Harris wins, we really going to catch hell. You know why? She going to make us pay for everybody who exposed the fact that she was never black. Do you feel me? She has a grudge and an ax to grind. Black people ain't getting shit if Kamala Harris get elected. You weren't going to get it anyway. Stay with me. Yeah. But it was a neutral <laughs> neglect. You feel me? That would have been a, a spiteful be neglect. Not, thank you. It would have been a benign neglect. Now it's a spiteful neglect. Yeah. I'm going to get you ninjas back God, for exposing yeah. the fact that I was never black. Black people ain't going to get nothing. Now some of her AKA sisters, shout out to the AKA queens, some of her AKA sisters going to get a couple, you know, uh, uh, puppet positions. You know, she's going to throw a couple black fraternity brothers, a couple puppet positions, you know, a little tokenism. But black people ain't getting unstructural. The Democrats are clear. Their whole future is all about the immigrants to replace black folks. I can't disagree with them. Not on this. I mean, we can disagree about a lot of things. <clears throat> and most people know that I'm not a fan of Umar Johnson because I think that the rhetoric by most of these people that live in the past in order to make money in the future is divisive. I think that the whole idea behind using race as a construct to to justify why you should or shouldn't or to force people be on code based off of their race and then to even criticize somebody um, to say you should or you shouldn't talk to somebody because of the color of their skin is wild to me. But that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about his views on Kamala Harris. I don't even agree 100% probably not even 50% with him on his political views um, when it comes to voting in general. You know, if I'm not mistaken, and y'all can correct me inside of the chat if I'm wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, Umar Johnson leans into the idea that he's not voting at all, which I think that is it's incredibly ignorant, right? I went over on the Millionaire Morning Show today how when you go down ballot and you look at exactly what happens in these elections, First of all, what happens on a local level is just as, if not more important, than what happens on a national level. And you have Senate, you have Congress, you have judges, you have different types of judges, you have prosecutors, you have millages, um, you have uh, trustees on the board of your community colleges, you have regents for your colleges, your major university, you have governors for the colleges of your major university, You have uh, school board members. You have to elect school board members. So when we're talking about the people that determine the laws, the people that make the decisions as far as your infrastructure, how well the schools are going to be funded, what schools need to be funded, property taxes, uh, city planners, every single thing that is happening from a legislative perspective on a local level, you absolutely 100% have to participate in the election process. Then we say, on a national level, the things that are still going to affect you locally. Ask the people over there in Springfield if they ask for a bunch of migrants to be imported and then flown in and then dropped off right inside of their, their city, which they then outnumber the majority of the people when you start to look at identity politics, right? So from... Uh, The perspective of should you vote and him saying that he doesn't participate or, you know, it's not going to matter anyway and all of that stuff, that's ignorant. It's, It's the dumbest thing ever. However, with this specific issue, objectively, he is 100% right. Let's start off with the fact that he said that they were willing to pay him $15,000 to conduct an interview with Kamala Harris, which... I'm assuming since he was saying that they would take it and splice it, that it wouldn't be his interview because I don't think that he knows how to run a production company or a podcast or do an interview. He can sit there and do the interviews, but he doesn't know how to produce the interview. 
I'm assuming they were paying him to interview her on their platform to which they can then release it to the general public as promotional material to say, hey, listen, look at how she aligns with the black people and the black agenda and all of this stuff. And who better to do it than King Grifter Umar Johnson? You, you see what I'm saying? So he then requests, wait, it's got to be live. And then they say, oh, wait a minute. This is really like supposed to be in our favor, promotional material. It's not supposed to be like a real interview. This is supposed to be like, you know, we can figure out what we want in and out of this thing. And then we're going to put it out there to the general public. And then him saying that she's probably spiteful at the fact that she was rejected by black people as being black, especially when you got people like Candace Owens all over her like a cheap suit, then I think that she would 100% be spiteful as a result of it. Uh, and then I also agree that, yes, she probably identifies closer as an AKA than she does with the community because she's seen that the community isn't really for her, especially when it comes to men, especially when it comes to men like Umar Johnson, right? And black men, this is why they said sicked Obama on us. Black men are saying that we voting for Trump in mass and we are going to defect even more every single generation to the black community. And the thing that they're trying to do is make sure that they're endearing themselves to migrants, people that originally now had no opportunity to even come into this country then they given them opportunity. And so now that is what the replacement is for. It's partially for other reasons, I believe, but I think it's also, you know, it could be more than one reason as to why they're doing something that could serve multiple different purposes. The migrant crisis also endeared those people over to the Democratic Party which is not going to be in your favor as an American citizen because it's not about what you think, it's about what's best for them to maintain power. So I do agree with the fact that, um, you know, them paying people to do interviews and then trying to align themselves with certain things and having certain conversations. No, 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 no. Let's do it live. Let's get to it. Her people are smart enough to say, nope, we don't want to do it live because she probably has some really smart, wise people around her, which is why they keep her in controlled environments. They do not let her do interviews that's over 21, 22, 23 minutes long. I just seen one that I reviewed on NBC that did the same thing, and she refused to answer a few questions, and she's getting quicker, quicker with the word salad, quicker with the responses of dodging questions and bullets, and that's the reason why you see her being galloped out slowly but surely at least two weeks up to the election because those that she's trying to impress upon or the independents, and she's trying to sway them to go a certain way, she can do it as long as her campaign advisors is in control of what happens to her. But I do think that these Democrats are for sale. You do need to vote in local elections, and I do think that she would also be spiteful. That's one of the reasons why men are generally reluctant to vote for women, because women hold grudges and vendettas against people that then, you know, would affect them financially and politically and in other ways. I just seen that Tulsi Gabbard recently announced that she was switching over to the Republican Party. That's interesting. I'm going to do a video on that separately, but y'all let me know what y'all think about Umar Johnson's take on the fact that Kamala Harris, if she was to win president of the United States of America, which is even more reason for you to vote for Donald Trump, if Kamala Harris was to win the United States of America, that she would be spiteful um, that black people neglected to even acknowledge the fact that she was really black and that they question her heritage and her and, and who she was, and then that then influenced what was going on in this election. I don't think that she'll win president of the United States of America. I think that she's a Manchurian candidate. I don't even think that she really has any ideas of her own. Uh, and I do believe that she fumbled over the last three and a half years, which would make it difficult for me to vote for somebody and give them a promotion to do the thing that they were supposed to do in the first place. But that's just my personal opinion. Again, y'all let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. Make sure you tap into the Patreon link is in the description. Also, teach Hanley 40% off your first order plus a free gift. And then get your tickets to come and see me in person. Discount code Anton. Put that in the description. That link is down there. No, uh, We're going to be in Atlanta, then Detroit. Get your tickets. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.